Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to learn how to do the VHS rewind effect like this. Okay, let's roll the intro, jump into Final Cut Pro and get started. First, let's make our nice, crisp HD or 4K clips look like VHS. If all you want to do is a rewind effect without the VHS look, I'll leave a timestamp in the video description. In Final Cut Pro, create a new project and in the bottom left corner, click Use Custom Settings. From the Video Format drop down menu, select NTSC SD and select 29.97i for frame rate. This will give your project both a 4x3 aspect ratio and the interlaced look of VHS. Grab your video clip and drop it into your timeline. With the clip selected, up in the inspector window, scroll down to Spatial Conform and from the drop down menu select Fill. Select the color inspector and first let's drop the dynamic range of our clip. To do this, bring up the shadows a little bit and drop the highlights to make the image a little flatter. Also, VHS tapes are always famous for having a bit of a color cast, so in the master control wheel, add either a bit of red to warm the image or blue to cool it. Next, let's add some effects to make it look like a VHS tape. Open the effects browser and search for film grain. Add the film grain effect to your clip and in the inspector, change the style to realistic grain. Next, search for the bad TV effect and add that to your clip. In the inspector, set the amount to about 3. Back in the effects browser, search for the sharpen effect and add it to your clip. Set the amount of this to between 8 and 10 and drag this effect to the top of all your other effects. And last, if you have audio in your clip, search for a car radio effect and add that to your clip. Now that our footage looks and sounds like a VHS tape, let's add the rewind effect. First, make two copies of the clip by holding down the Option key and dragging the clip to the right. Do this twice. To replicate the mechanical nature of VCRs, we'll slow down our first clip before the rewind effect, ramp up and down the rewind speed and ease into the play part again. Move your playhead between the first two clips and go back about one or two frames. With the clip selected, from the speed drop down menu, select Blade Speed. Zoom in on your timeline and slow down the last segment to 50%. Open the speed menu again and deselect Preserve Pitch. Next, select your middle clip, open the speed menu again and select Reverse Clip. Once again, deselect Preserve Pitch. Move your playhead between the two clips and move it about 10 frames into the middle clip. Use the keyboard shortcut Shift B to blade the speed of this clip. Move your playhead to the end of your middle clip, go back about 10 frames, and blade the speed of this clip again with Shift B. Select the middle part of the retime bar and change the speed of this part to minus 2 or minus 4 times. Select the last clip and move your playhead about 1 or 2 frames into this clip. Press Shift B to blade speed. Set the first part of this clip to 50% and again deselect preserve pitch. Now to sell this effect even more, we'll add some scan lines and a couple titles for play and rewind. First, to add scan lines you see when you rewind a VHS tape, you have to download an overlay. I have a subscription to Envato Elements, so that's where I got mine, but a quick Google search will get you the same thing. Select your overlay and add it above your middle clip. If necessary, set the spatial conform to fill. Mine has a black background, so to remove it, in the inspector, set the blend mode to add or screen. If yours has a green background, use the keyer effect to remove the background. All you should be left with is the scan lines on top of your clip. To add the rewind text, set your playhead at the start of your middle clip and use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl T to add a basic title. Type in your text and change the font. The font I recommend for this is VCR OSD Mono. I'll leave a link in the video description to where you can download it. 
Move your title to the top left corner, just like you would see on a VCR. Also, if you want, you can add a play title to your first and last clips. Let your timeline render out, and here's the finished effect. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more cool effects like this one. New videos uploaded every week, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.